Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, then my name's London Hustle and you join me on a very wet and windy day in London. It's not very pleasant at all, but I need to come out and make some money, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. We're just on our way to pick up an order from Zap. You've probably seen me pick up from here many times before. Let's see how far away this customer is. I think the order's paying somewhere around six pounds, so. Ah, only seven minutes. That's actually a lot shorter than what I was expecting. The rain seems to have stopped for a little minute, which is quite nice. And let's go get this delivered. Oh, look at the little dog out the window. So cute. Just went ahead and dropped off that order there, nice and easy. As we dropped it off, I'm not sure if you saw, because I probably cut a lot of that out. As I was checking his ID, we got an order free from a bubble tea place. I'm only two minutes away from it, so nice and easy. Oh yeah, I have an order for Anders. Thank you. Thank you. Whenever I see a bubble tea order come in, I get so excited because I absolutely love bubble tea orders. They're probably the most hassle-free order you can get because of the way they secure their lids. It's pretty much impossible to get a spillage. And this customer's not too far either. They are just one mile away. So just as they're about to drop this order off, we're getting another order in from Pinnier Cafe, paying four pound, four pence. We'll go ahead and take that. Is it Anders? There you are, mate. Enjoy. That was a lovely drop off there. The customer came outside to pick up the order and they met us as soon as we arrived, so no time wasted. And now we're on our way to pick up the order from the cafe. Hi, I've got an order for Christopher. Yeah, I'm just wrapping up now. No worries. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. Very much just went ahead and picked up that order there. This customer's ordered themselves a Spanish breakfast, which I'm very jealous of. I've not actually picked up from that place before. I always enjoy picking up from new places and they had the food ready pretty quick, so I'd be quite happy to pick up from there again. This customer's a total of 0.9 miles away. Let's go get it delivered. There's a little bit of a theme going on here. As soon as we're about to drop this order off, we're getting another order and paying £4.86. Oh yeah, there you are. Well, Christopher, yeah, enjoy. I seem to have a habit of speaking too soon. If you watched my last video, you'll know exactly what I mean. But things are going pretty swimmingly so far. We're just on our way to pick up a sushi order that came through as we were dropping that last one off. And it's only a minute away. Hi right, mate, for Rebecca. Cheers mate, thank you. Thank you. Had to wait a couple minutes for that order, but I don't really mind because I've just checked the distance of the customer and they're about 20 seconds away, literally across the street. I don't even need to take my bike. And like clockwork, we're getting another order come through before we've even dropped this one off, paying £4.34. We'll go ahead and take that. Sometimes with these short orders, there's a lot of judgment in the comment section, but you never know someone's situation. They might be immobile, they might be really ill, they might just be feeling lazy, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. I mean, I've been lazy myself and ordered food from just around the corner before. And a lot of the times these apps will offer coupons and discounts, which can only be accessed through deliveries. So please never judge in the comment section down below. Feel free to judge me all you want, but just don't judge any of the customers. Oh, what's going on here? A van driver's been pulled over by the police. That's not good. Looks like he's getting himself a ticket written up. All right, mate, I've got an order for Casey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Another order ready to go, which we absolutely love. This customer is 10 minutes away. Hi, is it Casey? Sorry. No worries. There you are. Thanks so much. Enjoy. As we dropped off that order, I got an order come through from a KFC, which I just went ahead and accepted, but I didn't actually see where the restaurant was. And now looking at it, that is, that's a trek away, but it is taking us sort of towards central London and we're quite far out right now. We're in an area I don't really want to be in. Like we're almost in Hackney right now, which is, yeah, not where I like to deliver. I'm going to go ahead and take it though, just because it's taken us more central, which I do like. As we're on our way to pick up this KFC order, it's given us an additional order from McDonald's for £2.95. With the history I've got from McDonald's orders, we're going to go ahead and decline that one. Quite glad I declined that because it's given us a Sainsbury's order now on top of it for £3.41, so it's paying a little bit more. And grocery orders are typically ready straight away, so we'll add that one onto our delivery. Oh yeah, I've got an order for Ferris. I think it's ready. Sorry. Just the one bag. Yeah. Thank you. It looked like that KFC had quite a lot of orders coming through, but luckily ours was one that was already sitting there ready to collect. Just on our way to Sainsbury's now, which is about a minute away. Yeah. Hey, I've got a delivery for a pool. Yeah. 
Uh, here we go. I hope it's not all desk because this is a lot. It is. We've got 15 items. Luckily, it's not too heavy though. Sometimes when you see a big order like this, you dread it because there's sometimes a lot of water or milk. But luckily, this one is just a lot of light things like crisps and chocolate. We've got absolutely plenty of space in our bag as well, so no dramas there. <laughs> we currently have two orders on our back right now. The order from KFC and the Sainsbury's order. The first customer is the KFC one and they are just three minutes away. Oh yeah, there you are. One more bag as well. They haven't tied this one up though. So I think that's everything. Yep. Yeah. There you are, mate. Much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Have a lovely day. You too. It's definitely a theme today. Just as we're about to drop this order off, we're getting another order in from Bombay Burrito. Paying the bare minimum of 280, but that probably means the customer's really close. We'll go ahead and take it. There's also a lot of people that are really surprised that I go all the way up to the apartment. The customer is the one who's paying for a service at the end of the day, and we're doing a job. And I feel like the job is to take it to the door and deliver the best service possible. Yes, it takes a little bit longer, but I have absolutely no issue in doing that. It also increases your chances at tips, so why not? Sweet, just the one bag, yeah? Yeah, thank, thank you. You know, you just have those days sometimes which just go amazingly. I feel like today is one of those right now. Oh, and look at that, the sun's decided to make an appearance as well. What a day we're having so far. Cool, this road's a bit bumpy. If you've been enjoying the video so far, then don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. I'm also looking to travel to different cities to do some deliveries. So if you have any cities in mind that you want me to travel to, then leave them down in the comments below. Ah, hello. That's convenient. <laughs> there you are, enjoy. Oh, that's so convenient. He just opened the window, popped it straight through. Jobs are good and All right, I can finally give you guys an update on the amount we're on today. I wanted to do this a little while ago, but the orders were just coming in thick and fast, so I didn't really get a chance. The time is currently 22.2. We came online at 20 past one, so we've been online for an hour and 20 minutes in total, and we're up to £32.96. I'm very happy with that. It works out something like £25, £26 an hour, I think. Yeah, today's been great so far. The orders have just not stopped coming through. This is the only time we've not been on an order the whole day so far. Oh, we're getting ourselves a double order in here from Itsu. And it's taking me the direction I want to go and it's paying almost five pounds. So we'll go ahead and take this one. Now, are both the customers from here? Yes, they are amazing. Yep, both of those ones. Thank you. We had to wait a couple of minutes for the second order to be ready there, but I don't mind waiting a couple of minutes, especially when an order's taking me where I want to go. Hi, is this Letitia? Yeah. Yeah, it's your Uber Eats rider. I'm just downstairs. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll be right there. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. There you are. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Just gone ahead and dropped off the first of the double order there. And lucky for us, the second customer is about 20 seconds around this corner. There you are, mate. Cheers, no worries, enjoy. After dropping off that double order, we're now up to £37.91. Oh, it is absolutely lovely when that sun hits. What more could you ask for today? Some amazing deliveries, nice warm sun, making good money, out on the bike. It's been an absolutely brilliant day so far. Let's get on with some more deliveries. I just had a notification through saying we got a £3.41 tip for that last order, which is very generous. That brings our new total up to £41.32. I'm going to set my goal today at £50. I think we can achieve that with no issues. Oh, we are getting ourselves a order in from Pizza Hut. It's only paying £3.48, but it looks like the customer's quite close, so we'll go ahead and accept this. Oh, and as we've turned up to the restaurant, we get an additional order on top of this from Wing Wing, and that's paying £2.50 extra. That's the one, yeah. Is that everything? If you watched my last video, you'll know we had a bit of trouble with that Pizza Hut, but today was absolutely perfect. Now we just need to make our way to Wing Wing, which is about a minute away from here. Thank you. This is definitely the shortest order I've done, so I've just come out of the restaurant. And see the building in front of me? Yep, that's where the customer is. Hiya. Uh, there you are, mate. Enjoy. 
We did get a double order though, so let's see how far away the second customer is. Ah, just three minutes at the end of the street, nice and easy. Just went ahead and dropped off the second of the double order there. All in all, that took me about five minutes to complete that whole double order, so nice and easy. But for the second customer, the number they put on their address was wrong, and she was just like, yeah, I know. And I was like, oh, okay, why not just change it to the right address, surely that's a lot easier for everyone involved. Maybe she'll change it, maybe she won't, who knows, but either way, we got the order dropped off. It's currently 20 minutes to three, and we're up to £48.96, so if we can complete one more order, we will reach our goal of £50. And just like that, we are getting an order in from China City, which is quite a nice Chinese restaurant just up here. From my experience, this restaurant usually takes a little while to get their orders ready, but everything's gone so well today that I'm going to be very hopeful and say the order's going to be ready as soon as we arrive. Oh yeah, I have F2 E9. Lovely stuff. There you are. Thank you, mate. Honestly, couldn't have asked for anything better today. That food was ready as soon as we went in. I don't think that's ever happened to me before in that restaurant. Oh, I think I'm at the wrong, I'm at the wrong bit. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I went to the wrong one. There you are. Enjoy. Oh, that was quite confusing because there's two buildings named the same thing and the pin she put on the map was to this building here. So obviously I just presumed it was this building, but it turns out it was the other one. But no dramas. She got the order in the end. The time is now exactly three o'clock and we are up to £54.23. That means we've been online just over two and a half hours so that works out pretty decent i think that works out just over 25 pound an hour if you have enjoyed today's video then be sure to smash that like button down below and if you're not already make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like always thank you for watching